All right then. Um, hi. Well, hi there. Hi. <laughs> um, first of all, um, your band name. Yeah. Um, Bones. Bones. Because because you know it's it's quite troubling to to Google you guys. You have to search always search Bones Bam Bones. Is what you have to always search Bones Bam Bones. Oh, I, I was just Googling uh, Bones UK. Yeah, they come, it comes up in Bones UK. Uh, a bit, yeah. yeah. A bit. We haven't, I mean, we haven't got much out. Like, we haven't, we've only just started, like, we're about a year and a half old. So even when you search, like, Bones UK, there's only, like, the Facebook comes up because nothing's, we haven't released anything. And we have only uh, uh, There's a Swedish uh, punk rock band. Yeah, I know. I don't think they're, st they're st still not in existence. They're not in existence anymore. Oh, they don't, don't exist no. anymore. I don't think so anymore. Because no. no. they've been to the show a couple of years ago. Oh, maybe, were maybe. they? No, they haven't. No, they don't exist anymore. Oh, oh, oh we think. When we checked, it wasn't. <laughs> so, um, starting out with a band, yeah. um, that's quite a decision. So, yeah. Band name? No, no. For you girls <laughs> to start out a band, yeah. you know, one and a half years ago. <laughs> How, how tough? Yeah, how, how tough was was the decision? Oh, come on, we oh, we, we, we take this serious we just, now. We just found each other, and it was just like, and we had to make music together. So it was one of those things. It wasn't a tough decision at all because it was so obvious that that's what we needed to do. Was we were like, we have to make music together. Let's do it. So that's what happened. It really happened naturally. It was just like, let's let's just do it. Let's yeah, go. but it's one thing to start a band, and the other one is to to you know to take it serious and go on tour, of work course, hard. Yeah. We, everything we do, we take very, very seriously, except for drinking. Now, right? no, we, even now, we take quite seriously, <laughs> except for partying. But actually, we take yeah, we take partying very, very seriously. seriously. Everything we do, we take very seriously. So, if we were going to be in a band, we take it very seriously and work very yeah. hard and do a lot of you know, we do everything ourselves and make our own videos and do our own artwork and make our own you music just and record it at home. It. Oh, yeah, we, just, it. we just do it. We get bored if we don't if we're not working. Yeah, yeah, we love it. Yeah. So, how did it start out? Uh, we when was the first gig? Put it that way. We was went, that a special place? Yeah, we went to LA. Like we um, but we we decided we didn't want to be in London because we, we we're based in London. Uh, we decided we didn't want to be in London, so we, we just like used all of our money to go to LA and so just booked in. Like I was ringing up bands and seeing if they needed to support bands and just started it in LA. So we got our residency at the Viper Rooms and then sort of like did a few more went to Joshua Tree, did loads of weird gigs and started the band somewhere else just to keep it like a bit different and interesting. Because yeah. we've been in it, you know, it, it was more fun. Well, we've both been in like bands and other things before, but we wanted to do it right this time. And it's just like, let's find a new, interesting yeah. way of doing what we love. It was wicked. You, <laughs> you're based in London. Yeah. Uh, you're born and raised there, both? I am, like, Cheers. in Camden. I was born and raised in Camden, and then she sort of... I'm foreign. Place. I'm just from everywhere. <laughs> from everywhere? Like, Dutch, Italian, and Peruvian. Oh, okay. But, but... She's lived I've, like I've, 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 Yeah, but now I live in London, so it's easy. You were born in Italy? No, I was born in Spain. <laughs> I've, I've lived literally everywhere. How so. come? You, you, your parents were... Yeah, my parents, just, they Gypsies. moved around a lot. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. <laughs> what did they do? No, they were just a uh, business... My dad was a businessman, so oh, when okay. they come, we just moved. It's just... Um, then then I, I finished high school and went to London to try and, you know, do music. And then we found each other, so that was kind of there you go. That, that, that was it. The rest was history. But traveling around that that helps uh, language-wise. Oh my God, yeah. she's so useful. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like it's, every time we go to like customs, and it's like, come, come, uh, like, yes, 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 okay. Like speak yes. to them. Would you like to see our passports? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> uh, we're just, like stand behind her, like not saying anything. So there's a little Italy, a little Spain. Yeah, Dutch, French. Little Dutch, anyway, yeah. yeah whatever, whatever, whatever you want. Yeah. Also, oh, your I've parents were Dutch. Father. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's just a big mix. Cause, yeah, because Dutch it's is big. anyway a big mix of you know English. There's Danish in it. Yeah, exactly. Swedish. You could say the same about Germans or Austrians. That, that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's one big family. We're, we're all, all European. One big family. <laughs> See, that's hopefully what we're trying. We're still all going to be European. Oh, hopefully, because yeah, 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 yeah. England's See, going there, through a rough patch. There, there is one thing. Uh, our station is doing that thing for for the next couple of months uh, uh, about being nice to each other. Yeah, you know, nice. The, the, that's for good. the whole planet. So, if you could just tell into the camera to the viewers from your point of view, in your words, be nice to each other. In, in be your nice words. to each other. Well, no, that's that's the whole point, isn't it? If you if you're not if you're not nice to everyone around you, how can you expect to have kindness 
thrown back at you. Yeah. I mean, everything that we do is always... I mean, the common goal should, amongst all different people, all different countries, all different creeds, should be positivity and, you know, taking care of each other. If we don't take care of each other, then what else have we got left? And it's human spirit as well, belief in human spirit, that there's good people, there's bad people, but ultimately good people hopefully will win. And that's through good people banding together and, and pushing for good things. I almost see it as common sense. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you be good to yeah. the person next to you? Um, and, and music helps, of course, rock and roll. Of course, absolutely. It's a medium. I mean, we always say that with like what we try and sing about, and you know, when I'm writing lyrics and stuff, I always try and make it say something. Like we've got this amazing medium, which is music, to say something interesting and say something positive. You know, it, it's much more powerful than me standing on stage and preaching to someone. Me writing a song, you know, and singing it. That you know, that's an amazing platform. So us as Bones, like we we try and say something every song we write. Yeah. yeah, which is positive or which at least raises a little question or, you know, I think it's so important. Some people don't do that these days. Well, for you ladies, uh, being that European, that that must freak you out hearing that this whole hatred going on now with, uh, you know, Britain leaving yeah. the EU. Well, if you see, if you see our Instagram, we were, we're, we're trying to push people to yeah. remember to vote because I think a lot of our generation just even just forgets about the power that they have. I mean, I can't vote because I'm not English. But, you know, we've... Yeah, absolutely. Um, we think it's quite important. Um, it's hugely important. It's pretty, pretty, you know, young people shouldn't put their future in old people's hands. Like, it's so important to do what you can. You know, the control that we do have, use it and vote for, you know, hopefully... To stay. To stay in. <laughs> but what's it's the point, what's the, what's the point, point in separating even yeah. more? What's the point in creating new barriers? There's enough, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we just got rid of a couple the last, let's say, 20 years. It's exactly. taken us so long to get exactly. rid of the barriers. Why, why, why remake just, them? There's always yeah. people, and there will be people to the end of time who are trying to do that. So, yeah. hopefully, it won't yeah. happen. We're, we're we're doing our best. I mean, we need to write it like an, a stay in Europe song, like a sort of football chant. Oh. Maybe that's well, the that next thing we need to do. Maybe. Come so on. Like a like a Christmas number it. one. Christmas. <laughs> 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 Maybe that's what we need to do next. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That know, is true. We need people to do need that. love. You yeah, know? people need love. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a weird time now. Weird you know, time. You, you have like uh, you have politicians. Uh, let's say a couple of years back, gosh, we had George W. Bush. You know, yeah. he, he was stupid as fuck. Yeah, a know? little bit, like a puppet. <laughs> No, it's like when people now are saying in Europe, oh, come on, Americans could make Donald Trump their president, you know. They made yeah, George yeah, Bush their president, you know. What I mean, it's like know? nothing is beyond that, you know. Yeah. It is like, I wouldn't be surprised. Nothing can surprise you after that. So yeah. it's like, fingers crossed for that. Just got to hope either. for the best. <laughs> Just got to hope that some, some people have a little bit of a integrity you, left. Yeah. You know, touring, um, is it any easier... Uh, when you have more females on the tour bus? No, it, it, um, we don't see ourselves as females we, we, uh, or males. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we, we act like blokes anyway. So. Yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> we, but, don't, we, um, don't, we don't, like... I mean, it's, it's good that we've got, like, each other or whatever. And, you know, if any, it really depends if, you, if someone's good at their job, whether it's male or female. We don't. We'll we have them. We don't see people as girls or boys. We see people as just people. We're not yeah. in a. We're and not in a. Oh, oh no! Don't worry. <laughs> but you know, if you if you get someone on tour, you know, if you're good at your we're job, then it's fine. So yeah, it's we're not in a girl. We don't ever want to be like a girl band or like she's like a good guitarist for a girl. Yeah, we just want to be like a band. Anyway, we're know. just a band who happen to be girls, and I think that kind of like splitting people into things. I think that you know. Yeah, that's that's something you know. Um, that's something that really changed over the last yeah, really decades, I let's know. say. But when we were talking about 80s, 90s, yeah. you know, a, a girl in a rock band. It's quite rare. And that, that was like, wow, Whoa. you're a girl, yeah. you know? That, that, that must be because you're pretty. You yeah, know? no, yeah, totally. Like, come on, fuck. It's, I, think, I think the world is different now, which is amazing. It's so yeah. brilliant to see that it is. And I don't think we... Um, categorizing gender anymore. I think there's so many yeah. blurred lines and there's so many, you know, gay, straight, uh, women, men. It's all so blurred. It's this brilliant sort of, and it's kind of a real nice open playing field for people to just, you know, if you're good, you're good and you have to be good. We don't want to be, we want to be uh, compared to other bands, whether they be boys or girls. We want to be the
the best band, we can be not the best, they're quite good for girls. We're like, yeah, it's just... you know, they can write a good song for two girls, but you know, we just want to be, we're going to work as hard as we can to be compared to the best. Yeah. That's what yeah. we want to do. <laughs> we'd basically not use girl as an excuse, like sometimes people say, oh, you're good for girls. Um, we, know, don't, if, we don't want that. If people say that, then you, you know, get better. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, if someone's like, yeah, you're pretty good, boys are better than it's like you know we, yeah, we want like, to be people get over it exactly, you know yeah, exactly that's better. you're gonna have to work you know practice more you know it's like and we're all, all up for working more and where we like working best. <laughs> and drinking <laughs> so how does songwriting happening with you guys um, is there any special ritual any any special drink you need to start like whiskey no it, we like whiskey, whiskey but yeah. it happens in i mean just sit we don't we don't like studios. We hate studios. That's the number one rule of this we band. Just sit. We don't we don't like the, the pressure of like going into a studio and being like, right, we're gonna call now. We do most things from home, so we've got an, a third member who's a producer. Um, so us we often just send him stuff and then he sends stuff back and then we send so we do it all on computers and keep it really cheap and really uh, Well like just working together. Fresh. So, yeah. And we write songs, we write something, send it to you know, it's all it just depends. I write some lyrics, she writes some riffs, it's all like, yeah. But keep it, keep there's, it. There's not, there's not a structure to it. The sound just comes or it doesn't come. Yeah. And yeah. we'd never like go into a studio and be like, okay, time to record these five songs. Ready, set, go. You know, no, we've got we two don't days. Do <laughs> like, oh, but we good. Like, fuck that. We want to like, you know, if, if, it, if that song happens at that point, it's like, yeah. Natural. Yeah, natural. Kinda... And easy. And cheap. Um, what other thing, you know, new technologies uh, coming up yeah. more and more, um, you know, with the holograms and shit, yeah. you know, you have like holograms on stage that Love play that. with you. <laughs> We'd never use that. Well, well, let's imagine you would. Okay, uh, who, okay. who, who would you pick? You know, you can pick any person Prince. In the, on the planet. Uh, uh, Prince. You get Prince, I get Bowie on my side. Bowie and Prince. Bowie and Prince. Uh -huh. that, that would be a good package. Really good, right? Um, who else? Bowie, Prince, that's it, those two. It's Maybe two. Hendrix. You Maybe know. Hendrix. Hendrix for sure. <laughs> BB King. have like a battle. Have BB King sitting next to me. Yeah, my God, it'd be amazing. Yeah, have some good guitar in yeah. the back, you know. Is it like a jewel? We need to get some holograms, man. De nah. Yeah. <laughs> but what music were you raised with? What, what were your first encounter, let's say, with rock and roll? Well, no, I mean, I, I grew up, I, I'm a big blues fan, so I love I love my blues, all my 1940s, Albert Collins, Albert King, oh, yeah. Buddy Guy, all those those guys. And then, obviously, when it, Hendrix, Zeppelin, Jeff Beck, and all that stuff. And well, you, I'm more like songs, I mean, I'm like, I, I'm, I don't know, I've always been into songs rather than, like, an artist, so I love good songwriting, so that, like, goes from, like, Prince to Randy Newman to Michael Jackson to, like, you know, totally different kind of things. Um, but it's about songs for me. So I've never been like a fanatical about one band, I've been like fanatical about a song. But that's I think that's I what think. works with us, is because you, know, you, you bring your element and I bring the bluesy yeah, side. Exactly. Just, yeah. Yeah. just it is what it is. Combo, yeah. It's bones. Yeah. <laughs> it is. This is bones. <laughs> yeah. It's a mixture. Yeah. The bones. The bones. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's take a look into the future uh, for you guys. Uh, I mean, London is quite expensive. Do you yeah, want to yeah. stay there? Yes, or? No, we're leaving. No, exactly. <laughs> Good point. I hate it there. We both want to leave. We're leaving. We're leaving. Yeah. So we were going to move to Barcelona was the first plan. And we're, in, we're, we're touring in America for the whole of the summer. So when we get back from America, we're then going to work out what we want to do. And that might be going to Barcelona, might be going to... You wanted to go somewhere else? Maybe Lisbon. Maybe Lisbon. Lisbon. We're just looking at some different places. Yeah. Somewhere fucking cheap. And also, like, weather. Weather in London. Like, I'm. Yeah. That is like. We need to, we need to just talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we need to not. We can't be on our days off. We want to be able to go swim in the sea and write music in the sun and not be like in a flat in London, which we can't afford to be in. So we're going to move. Hello, this is Bones. We're here on Mula Chag. It's the only party that you need. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mulatcha!